Oh my god, like guys, did Ike really pimp Mercy to Willy Exo? Was that the reason why she actually traveled to London to go and see Willy Exo? Oh my god. Guys, today on Mercy and Ike's show is a true confession era. Like seriously, these guys literally spilled so much. I jotted down so many points in my book that I'm going to be spilling to you guys tonight. And I'm going to as usual give my review about it. So if you want to hear everything, you definitely need to watch till the end of this video. Before I continue guys, I want to announce to you guys that the Big Brother reunion, um, the 2019 reunion is going to start on the 1st of June. And I'm going to be giving my reviews to you guys. So if you love the way I give reviews about these things then you definitely need to stick to my channel now without much further ado let's go into the main video so guys the show started with um ek and mercy in the house um, mercy returned from london and then ek came to visit her in her house so that they could have that conversation that you know they have been dying to have together face to face so the first thing that i um i heard mercy said that because she had been going through a lot of emotional trauma while she was in london she was rushing her trip so that she could come back and come and reassure ek that all is well between them but ek still did not believe that all is well between them because he felt like mercy literally traveled to london to go and do something else with um really x so she he felt like mercy literally lied to him that she was going on a business trip at least that was what he said now Mercy was now saying that she purposely was showing off and flaunting with the EXO on her Snapchat and on her Instagram account on social media generally because she wanted to pepper the people who were trolling her and those people who were carrying out rumors about her because according to her people had no idea where she had traveled to people had no idea what she was doing you know so a lot of people were just saying a lot of nasty things about her carrying rumors about her so she literally put out all those funky videos about her dining and shopping with Willy exo because according to her she wanted to shut people up but then Ike was really upset like why would you go as far as doing that because it really looked as if you were not just intentionally doing that for clout you were also enjoying yourself you were enjoying what you were doing you know and then that was the point where mercy actually spilled the bean jesu guys mercy said i don't know if these people were not actually listening to each other when they were arguing but mercy said that it is not her fault that she went to london that she went to london because both of them had an agreement ek actually asked mercy to go and meet Willie Exo to get money. So she was telling EK that EK, you are aware. So why are you acting as if you do not know? Why are you acting as if you did not give your consent? You know? And then EK admitted that yes, that he discovered that Willie Exo liked Mercy. Willie Exo was throwing a lot of green lights, um, you know, across to Mercy's way. So he told Mercy, this dude has money. Then go to London, go and meet him, bring his money and come back and let us share his money. I'm like, what? Like, seriously? Let me pause for a moment, take a breather, and then let you guys know that this is the main reason why I do not trust all these bloody reality TV shows. Because I feel like everything is just crazy. You know, sometimes it's all scripted, and then sometimes people just literally say these things and do certain things because they just want to be relevant. And I'm like, oh my god, so fans, throws, people, they've been out there killing themselves, asking themselves questions like, oh, are these two people in love? Do they really love each other? And then these people literally had an agreement that Mercy should go to London and go and spend time with Willie Exo doing whatever. And then she should bring money and come back. And Mercy, they had an agreement. I'm like, hey! Now what? Now wow. So guys, Mercy also complained. Okay, Ike was now saying that, oh, he actually deserves a cut from whatever money that we let so give to Mercy. Now they see on her face, so. <laughs> okay. So Mercy also complained that, oh, she likes Ike. She loves Ike a lot. She has strong feelings for Ike. But what she doesn't really like is the fact that Ike is always choosing money over her, you know, that Ike is always too concerned about money. Whenever it comes to money issues, Ike is all out. And Ike too, he wasn't even denying it, you know. For him, he was like, um, initially he had told Mercy that 
if Mercy wants to break up with him, that all Mercy needs to do is Mercy should settle him, pay him off so that he leaves. Because guys, remember in last episode that I reviewed, I told you guys that EK is still having this sense of um, entitlement that he deserves to get at least 15 million out of the 30 million that Mercy won from the 2019 Big Brother Niger show. Okay. Now today on today's episode, EK was now saying that if Mercy, that he has told Mercy before, that if Mercy wants to break up with him, that all she has to do is she she should pay him off with at least five million you know so what he said was that mercy did not give him five million but then mercy gave him some money and then from time to time she has been giving him money so he's okay with that because she is actually giving him money and i'm like oh so this is what this is all about Ike is still carrying grudges that it was because of his coins that he gave mercy in the house that mercy actually won the season four of big brother ninja show right and also Ike is still feeling like he is entitled to whatever success mercy has now and for me i feel like that's actually ridiculous because come on you gave her coins inside the house she won the show probably because of your coins or probably not because of your coins so what gives you what gives you the temerity what gives you the effrontery what gives you the <laughs> let me i don't even know for the for lack of more english language to use right you know what makes him feel like he has every right to the income that mercy starts getting you know but really i'm really disappointed that ek will go that far as pushing mercy to go and see another man you know abroad and then he comes online to give people the impression that he is the victim you know but then on the other hand looking at it on the other hand i'm thinking that okay mercy is not a child mercy is an adult so if your boyfriend whom you claim to love and whom you claim that both of you are in a serious relationship is telling you and encouraging you that you should go and see other men abroad because they have money and then you should hustle and bring the money back so that both of you will share then they put food for your mouth why would you go if you don't want to go why are you also playing the victim so i feel like these two people they're just confusing each other and they're also doing a very good job at confusing their fans because this is the nonsense that they are feeding to their fans and their fans are just like today emotions are rising up temperatures are rising up tomorrow everybody is coming down so the people are supporting mercy tomorrow people are supporting ek so everybody the cat is out of the bag now. You guys now understand what these two people are doing. That's why they carry on their head and jump together. And don't forget, reality TV shows are not like a hundred percent true. So even this information that I are spilling today, even me, I'm not taking it with a pinch of salt, or I am actually taking it with a pinch of salt, but I'm not trusting all the information like a hundred percent because I feel like they are still trying to get people's reactions, you know. So who knows? So let's continue, guys. Um so um EK also said that he wants Mercy to leave Willy EXO immediately. I mean, while both of them were at Mercy's house, you know, he got upset and said that if Mercy wants to break up with him or if Mercy is not going to leave Willy EXO, that he wants Mercy to pay him off and settle him. And I'm like, okay, this is actually sounding like cheap blackmail to me right now. Why does Mercy have to pay EK off, you know, for them not to date each other anymore? Did Mercy pay EK to still be with her? Did Mercy... <clears throat> Sorry. Did Mercy actually pay EK to still remain in her life, to remain relevant to their fans? I don't even understand what's going on, but we'll see anyways as the show progresses. But that was a statement that EK made, you know, so he got upset, he slammed the door and he went outside and Mercy followed him. She was upset as well, you know, and then... EK was now begging her that he wants Mercy to unfollow Willie EXO immediately from Instagram, that he wants her to do it publicly so that people that have been trolling both of them, carrying a lot of rumors, she's going to prove to them immediately that she doesn't have anything to do with Willie EXO, you know? And then Mercy was saying that no, that she would do it, but she would do it next week because if she do it now, if she does it now, people are going to drag her. And then it just went on and on about the situation, you know? So Mercy opened her Instagram and made like she actually unfollowed Willie EXO but I am not sure because the moment she actually did some pressing buttons and stuff on her phone she got upset went inside the house and slammed the door so that's the question did Mercy actually unfollow Willie EXO from Instagram I don't know I might have to research about that to find out if she actually did or not so another thing that happened is that um mercy had a sit out um a hangout with her friends she has about three very close friends and she has been with those friends since um before she got into the house and after she came out of the house you know so she has a long history with these people so um <clears throat> 
um, while she was with her friends, she asked them what they thought about her relationship with EK. And this is what her friends had to say. The first question her friends asked was, what is EK? Which was very re re hilarious, guys. These people are just making me to tabo on this video. Look, it was very hilarious that Mercy's friends were asking, what is EK? I'm like, okay, so EK is not a cheap article or something, you know? And they were like, just saying a lot of things about EK. And what I noticed was that, um, there is no love lost between EK and Mercy's friends and Mercy was complaining that um, Her friends have been slut shamed. Her friends have been trolled. Her friends a lot of nasty things have been said about her friends about About um, her friends doing a lot of nasty things and EK has never for once defended her or even her friends when people are coming for them you know and in my head i'm asking myself like okay is it ek's responsibility to be fighting your friends battles is it not your responsibility to be fighting your friends battles i mean why does relationship have to be so complicated with these two people why do they have to be dragging the whole nigeria the whole of africa into their relationship like it's not supposed to be messy you know okay it's supposed to be messy because mercy's name is messy <laughs> don't mind me guys but then these are the things that Mercy's friends had to say about EK. They said EK is very manipulative. That EK is always trying to manipulate situations all around in his favor, always making himself look like the victim, while Mercy is the one who is always dragging him and making his life miserable and making his life a hell, you know? And then they also concluded that they do not like EK for Mercy because EK doesn't love Mercy. According to them, they feel like Mercy is the one that is forcing herself on EK. They feel like Mercy is the one that is pursuing the relationship with so much energy more than even what EK is doing they feel like um EK does not regard Mercy at all you know that the other time he was taking some pictures with some women he did not even apologize to Mercy they felt like if EK really loves Mercy that EK would not allow people on the internet to be trolling Mercy or saying nasty things about Mercy what do you guys think about that do you guys actually agree with Mercy's friends and the other thing they said is that they said that EK is a user and EK is a pimp now this is the part I want to address completely. Mercy's friends, they now finally confirmed that what EK always does is, EK is always telling Mercy, encouraging Mercy that, oh, this guy in this so-so-so country, he likes you. Go and meet him, then bring his money so that both of us will share the money together. That that is what EK is doing. So Mercy was actually looking at her friends. She was giving them signs because she didn't want them to talk. And she was like, you guys want to really break this table. And they said, yes, they are going to say that EK doesn't even hide it. That EK likes money. He's with Mercy because he wants money. He's with Mercy because he wants to use her to get fame. He wants to use Mercy to get clout. He wants to use Mercy to climb up the ladder, you know? And they just kept on saying that even the trip, the early trip that Mercy goes, that Ike is always, always telling and encouraging Mercy to go and meet men and bring their money so that both of them will share. So guys, let me from my mouth, now I go tell here, say Mercy the pimp Ike to men abroad. The major question here is, from all those things that Mercy and Ike themselves said on the show, and from all those things that Mercy's friends said on the show, is Ike really together with Mercy because he wants to be a pimp? Is it that Ike sees Mercy as a very, very beautiful girl that is very, very much wanted, you know, very alluring, has a very, very amazing sex appeal, you know? So is it that Ike is actually seeing Mercy as a money-making bag, a money-making machine? Is it that Ike is actually together with Mercy for the clout? Is it that Ike is actually with Mercy because he genuinely loves her? Guys, all these are questions that I'm actually asking. I don't have the answer to these questions, guys. All I can basically do is to give you guys the facts of the show. And all the things I'm saying on this video, it's not coming from me. It's actually coming from the people, from the horse's mouth itself. So guys, um, I need you to drop your thoughts in the comment section below i want to know what you think about what's been going on on this show like i asked um do you think that ek is actually with mercy because he genuinely loves her because he genuinely has feelings for her or do you think that he's actually with mercy because he's using her he's a pimp or he's trying to pimp mercy to men to make money yeah guys so go ahead and answer the questions and um, I announced already at the beginning of this video that Bibi Nigeria reunion is kickstarting on the 1st of June 2020 It's gonna be taking place on Mondays to Thursdays So guys, I'm definitely gonna be giving you guys reviews because there's been a lot of unanswered questions amongst all these housemates And I am dying to know why they hate each other so much I'm dying to know why Venita is always coming for coffee. Like is Venita jealous 
that Kathy is engaged to Gedoni. What is her problem? You know, so I am one of those persons that's really, really looking forward to the BB Ninja reunion. So, guys, stay tuned to my channel because I definitely have like a truckload of gist for you guys. I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. That's all for today's episode of Francis Bikini Glory. My name is Glory Elijah. <laughs> I never introduced myself in the beginning. <laughs> Good night, guys. <laughs>